Okay, guys, sorry that started late. Uh, we were having some technical issues, but I think I managed to resolve it. Let me just check to see. Welcome to your daily dose of awesome. Your life, 50 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education. So you can get your day started right. Let me just check real quick, make sure we are live. Yes, we are. Awesome. So you can get your day started right. There we go. So awesome. So sorry about that. Uh, guys, so we started a couple minutes late because of some technical issues. The software just wasn't working for whatever reason, but I had to restart everything and now it's working, so it's all good. So this is your host of awesome. So every every day, every single day here at Elite Marketing Pro, Monday through Friday, we give a new lesson. Today's lesson is really cool. Um, it actually is based on a conversation I recently had with a top producer in network marketing. And so, you know, people are just pinging me now because they think I, they're like where, where did I go why are you why aren't you live so now I'm live so let me just turn on turn off notifications here so anyway so today's topic is what to do if your downline team members are lazy and don't want to duplicate so this was the conversation I had with this top earner uh, in network marketing and and basically what she was uh, uh, I'll call her Carol uh, to, to keep her privacy and so Carol was basically uh, you know wanted help um, she had basically uh, was was still growing in her business, but not growing to the point where she wanted to. And the chief uh, thing that she was saying was the issue was that her downline are lazy. They weren't doing what they said they were, should be doing uh, or what they said they would be doing. And so they weren't accountable either. And she was like, what do I do? I need to figure something out. And so that was the basis of our conversation. So I'm going to actually tell you what I shared with her that actually blew her mind. <laughs> um and so, but before I get started, I want to quickly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Fernice Valles. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners, including network marketers, direct sellers, and affiliate marketers multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first six-figure network marketing business using the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses and hundreds of millions of dollars more in the incomes of our clients and students at Elite Marketing Pro. So this stuff is powerful, as you will see, as I shared with uh, with Carol recently. Now, if you're new to our training, I highly recommend, especially after you, you listen to what, we, what I got today, uh, I highly recommend that you subscribe to our online recruiting and marketing bootcamp. Uh, this is a 10-day video course that teaches you everything you need to know about lead generation and prospecting on the internet. Uh, it's in the description uh, above if you're watching this on desktop. Uh, or if you're watching this on mobile, you can probably uh, you know exit out of the video and click on that link. It'll take you to a page where you can submit your email and we'll email you those video courses. And so uh, also, I highly recommend that you subscribe to these lives. We, can, we go live every Monday through Friday, like I said, 1 p.m. Eastern. And we want you to be, be here live with us to interact, to ask questions, whatever you need. And so to, in order to get notifications for when we actually post new content or go live, you want to click on the top right corner of this video on your mobile device and and then uh, that'll open up a menu where you can actually like our fan page and then open up another menu uh, where you can actually turn on live notifications so that when whenever we post a video or new live post, you can receive it. Uh, this is the most powerful and impactful free training you will get. We bring on six figure, seven figure and even eight figure earners to be guests on these broadcasts. Today is just me, but uh, a lot of the times we have guests and uh Actually, next week we have the wonderful eight-figure earner, Ray Higdon, that'll be joining us. I won't tell you what day, so you can tune in every day. Uh, so anyway, uh, and also if you're on desktop, you can actually uh, just, if you're watching this on your, on your, on your uh, computer, on the top, you can click on our logo or our name. That'll take you to our fan page. Like our fan page on that same like button. There's a pull-down menu where you can turn on notifications as well, specifically for live posts and videos. So with that said, what is up, guys? Again, sorry I started late. Um, I had some technical issues. I literally hit this, the broadcast button and everything was dark and wasn't working. So I had to restart everything. And so that just that's what happened. What's up, Lydia? Hi, Cynthia. Wendy, thank you for being here. What's up, Jerry? You guys are, are, are solidly always here, which is awesome. So, all right. So today's topic, what do you do if your downline team members are lazy and don't want to duplicate? So I'm going to tell you about my conversation with Carol. And it was very eye-opening. Eye, eye and Actually, I kind of surprised myself in the advice I gave her. <laughs> um, it just, you know, sometimes, actually, to be honest, you know, doing these lives, every, you know, almost every single day, 
uh, it requires a lot of discipline and and it's uh, it's something I've had to get used to not only that you know I don't have guests every day so a lot of times I have to do the training so I struggle to like come up with some topics um, but usually what happens is when people ask me for advice or questions just things come gushing out of me uh, and you kind of realize how much you know you've actually learned over the years and how much you've actually how much experience uh, your experience has benefited you and I was so glad to help Carol because she basically sent a, an email to uh, to us, hey, say, hey, I, I went through your webinar. I'm, I, I have a few questions. I'm looking for help. Like I, I'm on the, you know, the top one percent of my company, but I'm not making the money that that I, I want to be making or I should be making. Um, and I'm really struggling with this. I need some help. And so I got on the phone with her. Um, and you know, so I got, I got on the phone with her. I mean, she, uh, I respect any top earner in network marketing. I have immense respect for because I know what it took to get there. And so that's my, how I show respect. I'm willing to talk to them and advise them in any way I can, even if they're not a client. Uh, so that's the, and so they, they, she reached out, got on the phone with her and she was explaining that, yeah, she was just, um, she was struggling and she wasn't, uh, basically her team members, she had built her business, um, and almost single handedly. She's an entrepreneur. She already owns other businesses. So she gets it from an entrepreneur standpoint. She has that mindset, and she pretty much just, you know, brute forced her way into the top income uh, bracket in her company because she's just that type of person. She's willing to do whatever it takes. Unfortunately, she realized that most other people are not, and most of the people in her downline were not doing what they said they would be doing. Uh, she spent a lot of time with them and trained them, and then they wouldn't do what they said. They weren't accountable, and she's like, how do I find people that will do what they say they were going to do? How do I find those those A players? And, uh, you know, so she was frustrated. You know, downline are lazy, did not do what they, she said they were going to do. And it's affecting her income. And uh, and so her, her income is not going down. I actually, I actually asked her, is your income going down or is it just not growing at the level that you want it to or you should be? Like, it's not growing at the rate that it should be because literally I have the income of two businesses that I need to replace. So I'm like, okay, great. So at least we know that. At least it's not you're not in crisis mode. But... You're still saying your downline aren't doing what you say they're going to do. And I totally got that. I was there my first year in network marketing where I was pretty much the only one in my organization willing to do the work. I recruited the most people, but they wouldn't duplicate. They wouldn't do the same thing I would be doing. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, what? why aren't you, you know, you said you're going to do this. You say you're committed to this business. You say you want to be free from your job, yet you're not willing to do the work I'm willing to do. What is wrong with you? And, and so I kept putting the responsibility on my downline, my team members. And, and so, so was Carol. Carol was putting the responsibility of, of this, uh, of her business not growing in the, at the rate she wants to and not earning the income on her team members. She's putting the responsibility on that. Um, and, and then I, I, I flat out told Carol, you know, you know, after my ex having experienced everything I did, uh, I told her, if you want your business to grow, it's not up to them. It's up to you. And, and that kind of took her back because it's like, it's not up to your downline to, to build your business. It's up to you. It's your, you have to take the responsibility back rather than putting it on them. You have to take it back. And, and then she, she asked what I meant by that. I was like, well, to put it practically from a, from a marketing or, or business standpoint, you have to put in place the business systems that help ensure success, no matter who is running things, no matter who who the people are in your business, you have to put the system in place in order to actually create the activity you want and you need um, to spur that growth. And so that was very, you know, that was very interesting for her to hear because up to that point, she just thought that she needed to recruit more people that are like her or even a quarter like her, like a quarter of her motivation. And I guess she found a few folks like that, but not enough of them. And uh, And so when I told her it's up to you and the business systems you create, help ensure your success, it got her thinking. And I told her about a, a mentor of mine and a friend, Tim Sales. Uh, and Tim, if you've ever gone through Tim Sales's training, uh, you'll really love this. This, But uh, Tim is very methodical in the way he teaches. He's not a hype guy. Um, he's very calm, always has an even voice. He doesn't yell, you know, and he, sometimes he can be kind of, kind of boring because he's so like logical and boring like, in that way. But I love his training. And the reason why is because Fundamentally, he does three things in in his business. He puts in place three things that uh, you can actually model in any business. I, I'm going to tell you 
at the end how I do it in my business from an, from an internet marketing and online recruitment standpoint. But I'm going to tell you how, how Tim does it old school. So first, uh, Tim is an advocate of, uh, of business systems. And he doesn't put the responsibility of growth on his team. He puts it on himself. And so he, he's a master of creating systems. He's very methodical. So number one, what he does first is he teaches skill sets. And of course, uh, initially, you have to start with some simple activity that people can take on. But he focuses the first month somebody is in their business, he focuses on teaching them skill set. In fact, he discourages them from actually prospecting anybody, uh, aside from maybe some, someone close that, they, that, 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 um, that new team member wants to really share it to. He, he says, first month, don't prospect anybody. <laughs> and, uh, you know, 80% of your time should be spent learning, learning these new skill sets related to network marketing, like uh, prospecting and recruiting and training uh, new team members as they come aboard. You know, uh, learning the comp plan inside out, whatever. And so first and foremost, he's focused on teaching skill sets and especially keeping it simple in the beginning. So that's what Carol was doing. She was teaching skill sets, but that's where she kind of stopped. And uh, and so and then I, I basically told her what what Tim does next with his team members. So Tim is actually, you know, he teaches old school methods in his training, but it's very valid. It's it's pretty awesome to go through it. Um, in fact, if I had gone through Tim Sales' training before I found the internet, I might have not gotten on the internet. That's how good it is. Um, and so next what he does is he actually, uh, he's an advocate of, of action through drilling. So what he does is he has his team members in a local area go to a hotel room, uh, a hotel conference hall. Let's say a few hundred people are there. And then he has this other room where there's a phone in the middle of the room and uh, to, tied to a landline. And because he's, they're cold calling, so they're going to be cold calling. And so Tim, you know, has a method for how to get, you know, cold leads to work. Uh, and so I would never call cold leads. I don't want to call cold leads. I don't have any desire. But if you're going to build it that way, Tim has a perfect way of training you on how to do it effectively. And so basically he, he knows how to, how, to pro, how to get good leads so that they're not crap. And then what, he, what they do is they play Russian roulette with the phone. Tim sits on one side of the table, the, the, the trainee sits on the other side of the table, and then the rest of the group is listening. And so basically they have a list of phone numbers and then they start one at, one at a time, they take turns dialing. And the Russian roulette part is like, if I, if I dial and no one answers, then it's the other person's turn and I get a pass. Woo! So that's the, the Russian roulette part of it. Uh, but if you dial and someone answers, you have to basically follow the training, the processes uh, for 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 prospecting and closing that Tim taught taught these people, so he taught them skill sets, and then now he's drilling them. He's basically forcing them into action, and there's a, the, all automatically there's built in accountability, and so and then the other people are listening, and so so they they do the phone thing. They they have a phone call. Uh, they they talk to the lead, the prospect, whatever, and then they and then as they, after the ten phone calls are up, they go back in the other room and then they discuss. What happened? They discuss each individual phone calls, how they went, what did what did the, the trainee do right, what did the trainee do wrong, um, what could they improve on, and it becomes this like very logical and unemotional experience, and basically conditions his downline to to you know, hey, it's no big deal if somebody hangs up on you. Hey, it's you know uh, this is part of the process. You have plenty of leads. Uh, keep practicing, keep getting good, and he forces people to drill, get over their fear, and take action. And the accountability is that he's sitting right there in front of you. That's pretty scary, but that's how he does it. Next is Tim actually has requires all his team members to track their activity on these sheets, and and uh, he assigns different points to the different levels of act, different types of activities. Some activities are worth more than others. In fact, uh, it, it probably surprised you to, to know that. Uh, prospecting and recruiting somebody is actually one of the lower point activities on that sheet. Um, the, the highest value activity is actually training a new, a new team member. So training a new team member gives you more points than anything else in that activity tracker. But anyway, he has this activity tracker and basically he says your goal every day is to, is to achieve this many points based on all these activities. So all these activities that you have, they have different point systems. You can do any of them, but they have to add up to you know, this minimum number of points. And, and and then people ask, do I really have to achieve those number of points? And his response is, well, if you want to be a six-figure earner, you do. And so that that's it. This is what requires you to be a six-figure earner in network marketing. Achieve at least these minimum number of points in your tracking sheet. 
And then those tracking sheets have to be turned in. I'm sure now there's some online method of doing it. And they're submitted to him uh, or to the leaders in his organization so that they can pretty much keep track. So now there's a, now now there's tracking, there's measuring of results, and there's accountability as well. As well. So step two and step three have accountability built in where now they have to submit their reports to the to their uh, to their team members, and so that's essentially Tim's processes. When I shared this with Carol, she was like completely blown away. She was like, "Wow, I can't believe it." She had never thought of creating business structures that essentially force people into action, get them to do the, to get them to overcome their fears, and track their their results. Because what happens is when you're when people are tracking, as a leader, you can you know who needs help. And also, you know who's not doing the work. And the people that aren't doing the work are the people that you don't help. It's like, hey, I'm not going to help you unless you do the work, unless you submit these sheets and and, uh, and show your activity. I'm going to focus on Bob over here, who's actually doing the work. Uh, maybe he's struggling with a certain activity, so I'm going to like help him and coach him on that activity so he can improve. Um, but at least I can see he's doing the work because it's right here on the sheet and he's tracking his results. And so so those are the three steps to like to actually creating a solid business system of any kind. In this case, the model that I was talking about was Tim Sales for, for traditional methods. Teach the skills, uh, action and drilling, and tracking and measuring. That's pretty much it. Now, we do this online as well. If you guys are in our community, you, we do this as well. We first teach you skills. Uh, and then with the first skill we teach you is traffic generation. Uh, next, we, we basically take you, get you into action. We actually have you, you know, actually uh, set up your posts, set up your ads, wh whatever activities are going to produce results, new leads and sales immediately. We have you do that. And of course, it's all tracked and measured. We have your metrics. We have you report your metrics to us in our Facebook group. And, uh, and so we do that as well. But the, the the thing is, we don't have to have you. We're not having you drill calling anybody, or cold calling anybody, because that's still a lot of work. Um, so whatever whatever business model you're in, having these three things in place are going to be massively uh, uh, helpful. And so that's what I help Carol with, and and Carol's going to you know start doing, start working with us here at Elite Marketing Pro, which is awesome. So I'm going to now be be able to show her how. You know, she's going to keep implement this stuff in with the rest of her team, kind of the people that are doing things old school. But now she's going to be learning uh, essentially the same things you guys are learning uh, with us here at Elite Marketing Pro um, because she wants to be able to generate leads on the Internet. And and fundamentally, the model is the same, but, you know, our activities are a little different. So we teach your skills for online lead generation and traffic generation. We get you into action and drilling by actually having you do uh, the setup of your first post and ads, and then we have you the, the the tracking and measuring. We you we have you report your results so we can help you improve and grow beyond that. So that is the lesson for today. If you guys who are brand new to to what what uh, this online world and want to know how we actually build our home businesses from behind our computer instead of going out and drilling in a hotel room or or going out of the mall prospecting the cold market or whatever, then go to the link in the description and and sign up for our online recruiting boot camp. And the rest of you who are in our community, hopefully now this this helps you better understand uh, why we're doing the things we're doing the way we do them, uh, why we have you take action, why you need to take action when we teach you a new skill, uh, because it's it's how you're going to learn. It's that think of of your fir the first ad you ever post, uh, the first few ads you ever post. Think of it as a drill. You're just drilling. You're you're drilling to learn. You're drilling to basically get some data. So that uh, you know you can gain that experience. Don't expect to hit a home run uh, your first time, and uh, I'm sure Tim Sales doesn't expect uh, his trainees to to hit a home run on their first you know cold call. Uh, it takes time. It's going to take some some work. It's just the difference is I don't like cold calling. <laughs> it's uh, I'm sure neither uh, neither do a lot of you either. So uh, let me see what feedback I got here. What's up, guys from Nashville? Hello, hello, Heather. Andrea, all right, Bianca. So, Tan, learn, take action, learn, take action. Awesome, brother. Lydia, perfect, awesome. So, I hope I hope that was valuable for you. Again, the the three things are are teach skills or, or learn skills, uh, action and drilling, and tracking and measuring. So, if you guys are old school and you want to learn from the best old school trainer that I know, 
definitely Tim Sales. And if you want, guys want to go go a little uh, new school and, and take your business into the 21st century, then uh, the link is in the description. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome day.